Let's talk about uh, thyroid conditions. I know that's something you deal with as well. Um, to me, and the people I've talked to, it just sounds like that is so prevalent these days that can be behind so many different conditions. Do you think that's the case? Oh boy, yeah. <laughs> um, so the thyroid gland obviously is the master regulator gland and controls so much of the cellular physiology from our energy levels to the way in which we um, look back and feel um, and there's so many things that can get in the way of proper thyroid function um, that it's really uh, it's really important to get with a provider that understands how to effectively test for thyroid dysfunction and then what needs to be done because it's not always just giving more medicine and it's not always adjusting that TSH level that so many people um, end up having their doctors do is get their TSH level in a certain parameter. It's way more than that. I also think that <clears throat> we've got a large population that's undiagnosed with an autoimmune condition uh, known as Hashimoto's or uh, autoimmune thyroid disease. And that thyroid disease is estimated to be over 10% of our population. And of the people that are taking thyroid medications, they estimate that 90% of those people actually have an underlying uh, autoimmune condition to their thyroid. So thyroid can be a, a it, it can be very complex um, in dealing with, um, and, but it's a very important um, condition to get right if you really want to achieve, you know, your optimal health. Mm -hmm. And it's a it's a it's a journey when you start down the road of uh, improving your thyroid.